Hey, this is Notzer, and this is the Tier 8 Soviet destroyer, Kiev. He has 16,200 health, a top speed of 44.6 knots, 6 130mm guns, 10 torpedoes, a surface detect of 8.7 kilometers, and 36 AA defense rating. For my modules, reduce crit chance on main armament, improved aiming accuracy, reduce the crit chance on propulsions, faster rudder shift, improved steering. For my commander, Priority target, adrenaline rush, last stand, basic firing training, demolition expert, and advanced firing training. We're on the map, two brothers, and this is an example of a Soviet destroyer in 0.6.3. Notice where the bloom goes. It's actually shorter than it was in 0.6.2. Yes, they received a buff of some sort. Uh, Wargaming. Uh, and there's no changes, obviously, to the ships. So we're gonna we're gonna explore just how powerful this ship really is. I don't really care that I'm detected. I don't really care that they're firing on me. I can use my smoke for a teammate, possibly. But I can operate almost exclusively by myself on a flank against multiple ships. I just have to maintain a couple scenarios. I need to make sure that my ship obviously keeps the target within range, but keeps the target far enough away that it's too hard for them to hit me. It will always be way easier for the Soviet destroyer to hit the battleship. The battleship has a long reload, the Soviet destroyer has a very short reload, and they're lasers. They get, they're almost guided to the target, so we're just going to harass these guys down, and I'm going to talk about my my feelings on the, the patch. So I know people have critiqued every aspect of my statements down to pronunciation, down to at that precise moment, 20 months down the line, are you still maintaining that sort of similar uh, opinion? Now my opinion is the exact same it's always been on stealth firing. Do I think it's fun in the game to have to be stealth fired by, you know, a Zao or a Gearing or a Fletcher? No, it's stupid. But the bigger issue is that they're introducing changes that are going to have ramifications across the board. And maybe they should compensate for this known change before it goes live. For instance, they're giving range to the Japanese. Okay, that's great. Well, the Japanese guns are complete garbage. So you, they're garbage in many ways, but the main reason is the turret traverse. The turret traverse is really bad. That's kind of the thing that keeps them from being gunboats, is it's not the velocity of the guns. It's a combination of the rate of fire and the turret traverse. Now the rate of fire is better than it was, but it's not as good as it could be. For the Americans, their velocity has been a curse and a strength. It allows them to fire very close to islands, but it also requires that they try at least to be somewhat close to the target, otherwise it's never going to get there. The Soviets aren't going to give up anything. Their playstyle is exactly the same. Stay at range, use their maneuverability, use their ship speed, and light fires up. Now, I, I got a little bit too close to the Bismarck. He was able to use his secondaries, which is unfortunate. But I'm just going to gain range, and there we go. So, yeah, it's... My whole problem is that the Soviet destroyers are getting better. The Germans, even though they're getting better, quote-unquote better, they still are not anywhere close to competing with the Soviets or the Americans. They're much closer to competing with the Japanese. And the Japanese are pretty bad. And they're bad for the torpedo detection reasons. I in my opinion, I think that the Soviet destroyers are probably a little bit too good rather than the Americans, the Japanese, and the Germans are too bad. I know for me in particular, I'm not afraid of a battleship. I'm not particularly afraid of cruisers. But I am very afraid of a Habarovsk on the enemy team. 
because it's just so overbearing on battleships and cruisers and even destroyers. It, it can just operate so cleanly at a range that is almost impossible to hit. This is sort of the new stealth fire, in my opinion. And it's, it's not as completely gamey, where you can't see the target, but it is almost as frustrating seeing a destroyer 12, 13 kilometers away from you hitting pretty much most of the shots, you know, not as accurate as 10, but hitting pretty much most of the shots, setting your target on fire consistently, and you having no real reaction to it. He doesn't care that he's detected. He doesn't care that he has to deal with multiple targets firing on his position. He does not even remotely flinch at that idea because that is what he's built to do. He's built to deal just with this. I can't really say that there is a weakness in their play. Since they've nerfed torpedoes so much, it's not really a big deal that their torpedo range is really garbage early on. They only have, what, 8 to 10 kilometers at the top tier. That's not really a big deal. But is Wargaming going to bring back torpedoes in their effectiveness? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I hope that they reevaluate at least some aspects of the changes they made to the Japanese. Because the Japanese are, it's just a really unfortunate coincidence that the Japanese lost their torpedoes. And I think the Soviet destroyers were coming out roughly around that time, maybe two or three months difference. And you could just see the Americans and the Soviets rise up. The Japanese fall to the wayside. There used to be absolute terror with the Shimakaze. People just wanted to run away, and nobody nobody cares now. It's like, oh, Shimakaze, who cares? I'm afraid of that Hubarovsk. I'm afraid of that gearing, that, that Fletcher. So that's that's just that's just the nature of it. And uh, yeah, I did podcasts. I've talked about this. This is the biggest deal to me. The the balance between all of the destroyers for stealth. You know, it's unfortunate that the Americans can't disengage as quickly as they want to. Same with the Japanese because of the stealth fire nerfs. But it's not. It's not impossible. You just have to be more selfish, use your smoke, act like your teammates don't exist, and you'll succeed more. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. More selfish play, but that's the idea. You have to smoke for yourself. Why would you smoke for other people? Your torpedoes are not good enough to rely on. You cannot rely on your torpedoes alone. Otherwise, it's... it's well, we've, we've worked through that. I'm still trying to figure out any, any small solution. Now, here is an intriguing part of the game. There is actually a cyclone going on. And I can't take advantage of my awesome laser-like guns at range. I have to be within 8 kilometers of my target or something roughly like that. That's extremely scary. Extremely scary. Like, I, I can't even express that. It, it, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like, I can't do what I want to do now. I can't run in, use my guns against the enemy, and hope that we have a chance to take him out. My torpedoes, you know, he's got to make one good turn, and he'll avoid it. That's, that's what's going to happen. And that's what it ends up doing. It ends up being a scenario where... You miss with your torpedoes, and you're dead. So, that's just the way it works, right? And, uh, I'm just trying my best. I'm trying to use the smoke, friendly, Mogami, all that stuff. It, it's great. It helps me out. It protects my ship. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not even, it's not even gonna work out. It's not even going to work out, you know, it's like, ah, oh, please, friendly, detect for me. And he doesn't want to detect for me. He, he wants to just stay alive. So, so yeah, th this... So, this is, this is sort of what is the problem. The Soviet destroyers don't really detect... And, by the way, I was, I was sending torpedoes, trying to help them out, survive, and I'm like, 
Careful of torpedoes! But the Soviet destroyers don't operate like any other destroyer. They don't value their stealth. They, they completely are comfortable spotting, don't get me wrong, but starting at, spotting at fairly reasonable range. It's just one of those things where it's like, the, the worst case scenario occurred. The cyclone quite literally stopped me from doing damage. It, it's just, it's just really, really unfortunate. And it, uh, we hit torpedoes on the target, but he's he's still alive. Uh, he's still alive, and I just, I just, I'm just waiting. I'm trying to run. He's right on top of me, of course. And woo, we're just getting shot out left and right, and it's just uh, please don't hit me, no, please don't hit me. Okay, so we got out, but he's way within our detector building. I'm gonna just move back, and I'm gonna hope that the Bismarck goes left and I can go right or right and left. That's that's what I was doing. I was like, uh, come on, come on. Hopefully he'll dive over to the left side. I mean, the right side of the island and I can dive over to the left side. Just just let me gain ground. I don't have smoke for 20 more seconds. And yep, uh, he knows exactly what he's doing. And he's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us. I'm just trying to stay as thin as possible and I'm running, running for the edge of that concealment range. And I just can't get there fast enough. His secondaries have great accuracy because of the German accuracy for the secondaries. Ah, oh. this, this is just, this is just how it's gonna go. We're gonna die, and I'm even gonna die in my smoke because the secondaries are gonna hit me. Yep, or maybe that was main battery, but yeah. I was in a super dominant position until a cyclone took hold, and then I lost it. So. I think the Soviet destroyers are, are going to be very scary. They are probably the only destroyer line that can afford to use their smoke on other people. It's it's just the way it works out, where they don't rely on the spotting mechanics. In fact, they 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 avoid it. The only scenario that's bad for them is Cyclone and. You know, Cyclone is pretty good for Japanese or a gearing because they can get close enough in order to spot and send torpedoes, but still run away and be careful, you know. So it's just it's just funny how it works out. So that was a look at the Soviet destroyer in 0 0.6.3. Almost carbon copy of what we expect in 0 0.6.2. I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.